So you can see here that I got multiple pages and it kind of looks boring. So what I want to do is assign some kind of background to it, for example. So what I can do is I can work with something called a background page. And for that, I'm going to go onto the page area right here. I'm going to right click and go to insert. And once I do that, you can see that now I can actually choose to insert a background page. So I'm going to go into type, choose background just like that. And you can see that now background one has been renamed. So you can actually add in any name as you want. Uh, I'm going to have no background on this. Uh, the uh, measurement unit, I'm just going to leave it into uh, inches right here, which is the default value, and I'm going to press OK. So here I have a background page, and you can see that it is italicized. You can also insert background pages by going on to insert right here, and you can go to new page, and you can go to background page, just like that. There's also blank page option and duplicate new page. So I'm going to go to background page right here, background two, and so forth. So let us work with the background right here. So let us go to background one. And in order to work with background, I'm going to go into design right here. And over here, you see that you have option to work with background. So I'm going to go into background, choose any background that I wish to actually utilize. Let's, let's say this is the world map because I want to utilize. So I'm just going to click that. There you go. This is the background as you can see right here. So that's the background. And now you can see that there's a bit of a change. There's the visual background right here. If I were to right click, I'm going to go into my page setup and you can see that V background ha property has been applied right there. On the background too, let's say I want to have the text information uh, and I want to take a reference from background one. So what I can do is I can actually go over here and I'm going to go into page setup and in background you can see that I can choose the V background or background one just like that. So I'm just going to choose background one just like that. So I got three backgrounds right here. So actually this is taking reference from this V background right here and background two is taking reference from background one. So I let the V background one be as it is. Uh, the V background two, let's say I want to uh, actually add in some text there. So I'm going to go into insert, right? I'm going to go into home right here and over here, uh, I'm going to create a text. So I'm going to go over here, just click and drag. And let's say I'm going to say this is a world map, just like that. All right, there you go. So this is the background too, with the text right here. Let me just increase this in size, increase this in size. There you go. That's the world map. On the background one, you don't see anything. In background two, you actually see that there's the world map. So over here in background one, I'm just going to say, uh, uh, all right. So let's say, for example, uh, I'm going to say tutor tube just like that and I'm going to increase the size and you can see this so background one has this background one has the background from back uh, V background and the text and background two actually has the text from background one and the world map so I got three varieties of background just like that so here you can see that I got the diagram I can right click I can go to page setup and choose the background that I like so I got three background so let's say I just want to apply the world map I'm going to select V background one, press OK. So that's the background and my diagram, as you can see right there. Uh, on the page two, I'm going to go over here. Uh, I'm going to go into page setup. I'm going to select maybe background one right there, press OK. That's the tutorial tube. Diagram three, and let's say page four. So I'm go going to go over here. I'm going to go to page setup. Let's say for the background, I'm going to choose B background one right here. And for the base four, I want to select something else. So let's say I want to select background one, just like that. And that's how you can select it and add in background. You can create new pages and you can see that background one is the default page right here. Um, background one has been applied as the default background page, just like that with the tutorial tube right here. So that is how you can work with background pages inside of Microsoft Video. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.